Well, thousands of hikers to take to the trails every day here in the islands, taking in the views Hawaii has to offer. But oftentimes, access to these trails are in residential neighborhoods, forcing those people to deal with the aftermath. KITV 4's Andrew Prayer shows us why some Mauna Wili residents are concerned about plans to expand access to Kawainui Marsh. Packs of tourists head toward a must-see destination. It's not Diamond Head State Park in Waikiki, but Mauna Wili Falls Trail in Kailua. Especially in the last six, seven years, we've just seen this escalation of people coming to the trail. The peace, the quiet, and the tranquility of the neighborhood is gone. That's what I've seen. Residents who live near the trail have documented tour buses, as many as 11 people per minute, and mounds of trash, mostly shoes and clothes worn on the muddy path. One neighbor picked up 27 pounds of trash one day. Some Mauna Willie residents even paid for two security cameras to deter trespassers and vehicle break ins. They put the trail in place, but they don't have the resources to manage it. The state's Na'alaheli Trail and Access Program oversees 122 trails across the state. Na'alaheli splits a budget of $1.2 million with DLNR's Division of Forestry and Wildlife. However, 50 to 60 percent of the budget goes towards salaries. That leaves only a few thousand dollars for the maintenance and upkeep of each trail, like Mauna Willie Falls. If the trail were managed, then we wouldn't have this overflow. I, I really believe that it's hit its capacity. I don't think it's a case of ill, you know, lack of will. I just think they don't have the resources. Now, Mauna Willie residents are concerned that the same issues affecting this trail could also impact Kawanui Marsh if DLNR moves forward on plans for expanded parking lots, foot trails, and a boardwalk. The same people are going to manage um, uh, the marsh as are responsible for managing this trail. And this trail is just a small microcosm of, of what the marsh is in for. DLNR insists Kawanui Marsh will be different since it's conservation wetland, not a recreational trail. Some people are saying we're trying to turn it into the Polynesian Cultural Center or Disneyland, and that's just ridiculous. Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News. And the Kauai Nui Kamakua Complex Master Plan must still undergo an environmental review before it can be approved by DLNR.